Junkyard Battle Racers. Power up complete. It is now safe to start the engine. Power up acquired. Hypermagnetic advancing speed boost is now available. Speed boost activated. Power up acquired. Transonic Proton Death Beam is now available. Death Beam Blast. Full system lay store commencing. Five, four, three, two. One. Normal driving mode restored. <laughs> Shield activated. Electromagnetic Pulse Blaster is now available. Tried to make Mario Kart in real life. When you run over a power up, which is these pods in front of us here, which are just cardboard, um, proximity sensor on the bottom of the go kart will sense that difference in height and it'll randomly assign you a power up. We have four, which are speed boost, shield, and then we have two that you shoot with the gun at the other cart, which are a death beam, which if that hits the other cart, it, um, it kills the throttle and then it actuates the brakes and then the EMP blast, which just uh, disengages the throttle. Junkyard battle racers. Power up complete. It is now safe to start the engine. All right. So in normal driving mode, we gas pedal is picked up by a potentiometer, a slide potentiometer in a box back here. That takes the value that it gets and it maps it to this servo motor, which pulls the throttle back on the go-kart. Right now, since we're in normal driving mode, the throttle's limited to about 50%. So that's, if you pull it all the way back, you'll see it stops about there. If we get a speed boost, it'll let it go to 100% throttle. Power up acquired. Electromagnetic pulse blaster is now available. What happens here is that this has an IR transmitter, and there's an IR receiver on back of both of the carts. And so when you aim it, it should give a warning signal on that. Warning. Warning. And the reason why we did a warning sound is warning. because of the shield power up. It allows you to have a chance warning. to activate your shield if you had a shield and you know the other person's pointing at you. Warning. When you actually get shot, it should make it so that your throttle, it takes away the throttle and makes you just coast for about 10 or 15, 15 seconds. seconds. Warning. So you can see that System you no longer have control commencing. of the throttle even though she's pressing it, it's not going to do anything. And it shows the message on there, it shows a countdown Five, for when you get it four, back, and it three, down as well. Two, one. Normal driving mode restores. So you can see it returns and she's able to drive again after that. See? Power up acquired. Transonic proton death beam is now available. <laughs> Alright, so this one's the death beam. It's kind of similar. It's 
the only difference here is that not only does it take away your throttle, but the depth beam will actually apply brakes as well. So it really slows you down. All right, so when he shoots the cart, you'll see uh, it'll actuate the brakes via this linear actuator back here, which pulls a brake cable, and that pulls this uh, brake back here. Unlike the throttle, which is a drive-by-wire type thing, the brakes are mechanical, and so you can never lose control of them. And then there's a secondary uh, cable attached to the brakes so that when we actuate them, we can basically, you can lose control of the brakes by it braking, but you can't disengage the brakes in any way. Yep. Okay. Death beam blast. Full system restore commencing. Five, four, three, two. One. Normal driving mode restored. <laughs> One last safety feature we have is we added a emergency kill switch up here. So if something were to happen where the throttle were to get stuck open or something, you can just switch that and it'll kill the, the uh, engine. So we got everything working for the most part on the first car a couple weeks ago and then as soon as we started the engine we realized we had some problems with electromagnetic interference. Basically our screen would go out um, sometimes our servo would go nuts and just in general thing weird unpredictable things would happen so what we ended up doing that fixed it is we uh, created a separate ground so we isolated all the electronics on our cart from the main motor here uh, since the kill relay or the kill switch basically works by grounding that engine we just uh, created a secondary ground for that system and then used our battery ground for our electronics. These wires running to the servo, and then the wires running up here to the screen, were acting as antennas and picking up a whole bunch of interference. So we um, braided the wires together. So there's three here that we braided together, and then there's like eight go onto the screen that we braided together, and we wrapped them in this foil tape, which is for HVAC systems. And that uh, basically shielded those wires enough where it got rid of almost all of our interference and then just to be sure we put all of our electronics in these tins to make sure that we had a basically a Faraday cage built around those. And this is our proto board. We do have an Arduino Uno on the bottom and a pick on the top. The pick controls the sound card which is back here and the Arduino Uno controls everything else. So we have uh, just these basic connections for all of our hookups to our LCD our servo. The speakers are going through 9 volts and then all the other components are going through 